All right, welcome everyone to this amazing, amazing video. Today we have the expert on gynecomastia on the internet, right here. Kevin Black Superman is with us. For those of you who are listening and watching, if you have problems with man boobs, gynecomastia, anything, bitch tits, and, and you have visceral fat, you, 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 know, you have lack confidence with it, or you just want to get rid of it, and you're wondering, how do I get rid of this thing? What's wrong with me? Is there a chemical imbalance? You know, what is going on in my body? We have the expert right here tell, is going to tell us today all about it. Welcome, Kevin. Thanks, man. Thank you, man. It's a privilege to be here, man. You know, salute to all the Doc Testosterone fans, man. And, you know, y'all going to get some good information today. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. So let's just right, you know, get right into it. Tell me, why is this your expertise? Like, how did you get started? Why are you so interested in this, man? So, in a nutshell, when I first started to get into fitness, gynecomastia was actually something that I strongly dealt with. Um, you know, I was somewhat chubby, somewhat overweight. Uh, fitness, it wasn't really a big deal at that time. Um, and, you know, I had gynecomastia pretty bad um, to the point where I used to get teased. I was uh, teased, hazed. You know, when I tell people that now, they're like, yo, you was bullied? Like, what? You know, because I'm, <laughs> I'm 6'4", 200, you know, 50 now you bully, Because now you bully people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but now, I'm, I'm protecting the bullies. But now, um, you know, at the same time, you know, I had gynecomastia. And I know firsthand what that's like. I understand the effects that it can have on your emotional health, mental health, confidence, hormone levels, you know, stress. Um, just being young and just wanting the gyno to leave, like tired of not being able to take my shirt off at, at a swimming pool with girls and stuff around, you know, um, tired of me taking my shirt off and the little kids like, oh, nipples, you know, just, just, um, it, it was heavy. It was real heavy. And um, I had no solution. Um, so I pretty much just went my entire adolescence with that type of problem, not even understanding that there was a way to attack it or a way to affect it. Um, wow. So, you know, eventually I did mature and I, I got, you know, more mature. I, my body developed, of course. Um, I started to go through puberty. Testosterone started to raise a little bit, you know, yeah. things like that. And I started to get some testosterone features, but I still slightly had it. So that's pretty much where it went to. And it, it pretty much just led me to the point where I understood the importance of fitness, transforming the body and making changes with the body. And, and it's so much more to it, y'all. But for the most part, I had it, I got tired of it, and I wanted to figure out what I could do about it. Got it. So I started to research. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, man, because like, you know, and, and obviously we'll get into your coaching and stuff a little bit later on, but this is what you do. You, you help guys get rid of man boobs through natural means, right? Without yeah. injections or any, any crazy stuff, just normal, natural stuff, and you're coaching. And a lot of guys have asked me over the last five years about gyno, right? That people ask me all the time and, and I have answers, obviously, but it, it comes from just like me reading. It's not like some actual experience of like, you know, people pointing at me and saying, Hey, look, nipples, like that didn't really happen, but you're coming from like that pain and you, you like actually suffer from it yourself. So what the guys are going through, you already went through. So you get it. Exactly. Mm. I Got it. First thing, and that's why I have a connection. Got it. One thing that people always ask me is they wonder their state of gynecomastia, how serious it is, right? Because from my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, is it true that if it's really serious, like very high stage of gyno, then you have to do surgery? For the most part, yeah. I mean, if you're gynecomastia, because there's different levels and types. There's one, type two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. Wow. And, you know, if it's to the point where it's humongous, yeah, you're going to have to approach it with uh, surgery. And Got even it. to make it even more specific, you know, you can't lose gynecomastia naturally in terms of the gland. Oh. You know, it's a glandular effect especially from estrogen dominance, you literally develop breast tissue and glands. So like, that's why if it is to a certain degree, you do have to get the surgery, you know? Got um, it. Depending on where you're at, will pretty much, you know, signify what it will take to actually lower it. 
because that's really what I do. I lower the noticeability of that next. Uh, and and it, I'm glad you mentioned this word estrogen dominance. I know you had this, this amazing video, like with a million views on your channel about this topic and, and all the stuff you went through. So tell us what is estrogen dominance and, and, and is it good or bad? And how does it affect gyno? Estrogen dominance is terrible, y'all. Um, you know, estrogen dominance can give you symptoms of uh, mood swings, uh, you know, of course, hormonal imbalance, uh, anger, uh, sadness, depression, anxiety, you know, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have learned a lot from, you know, Dr. Tetherone in terms of why you want your testosterone to be high because estrogen dominance beats that down. Like it depletes that. It's like all your effort, all your works. If, you know, aromatase is converting some of your testosterone into estrogen, it's just dominating. And, and then you develop all of these symptoms and signs uh, which can really wreak havoc on your life. So estrogen dominance is terrible, you know? Sure. Got it. And, and your students, when you coach them, and, and you know, if they went to get a blood test, they would probably have above average estrogen or even above the reference range for a guy. Like it would get closer to a woman's estrogen. Is that what, what you see? Definitely, yeah. Estradol, to be specific, you know, estradol, um, most of the time when people have estrogen dominance, that's the hormone that's the highest. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that right there could be the major effect of why you would have a lot of these symptoms, gynecomastia, um, and a lot of these other things. So, I mean, yeah, estrogen dominance is a terrible thing and it has to be attacked. It has to be attacked. Got it. Got it. And it, it's, I'm glad you mentioned like the behavioral problems, you know, the, you don't want to have mood swings as a man, like that's not going to be good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And, and dude, like just the very beginning, you mentioned the concept of confidence. Like if you're not able to take your shirt off in a swimming pool at the beach because you have like things, you know, like a little nipple or, or breast hanging out, I mean, that could be really, really horrible for a man, especially as a young man. Okay. Listen, man, so, so much. I get so many guys. I get younger guys that hit me up about it, 12, 14, 15, 16. Um, that are going through exactly what I went through. So that's how I can really empathize and, and try to give them the best solution possible. Got it. Someone who right now has this problem and they're struggling with it, you know, they're like, why me? Why me? Why did I, why did like God make me like this? So is it like, can we blame it? Like it's just something genetic or or something that the environment did to them or, or, you know, they, they did it to themselves. Like, Man, do we know about this? Like why it happens? Like, well, there's a lot of there's a lot of research out there, um, and from what I've gathered, you know, I've seen that some of it can be genetic. Uh, my father, he slightly dealt with it to a certain degree, so mm. it could be genetic. My brother slightly deals with it as well, and we're rather lean men, you know, so mm. we're not like, you know, fat or obese or not like that. So my brother, um, but I think there's a lot of factors. You know, they're even saying that marijuana. Too much, too much oh, really? marijuana can cause gynecomastia. Yeah, there's a lot of studies. Marijuana, uh, um, just just a lot of different effects that can really cause that's increased in the the diet, Got estrogens it. of food, Got milk, it. dairy. You know, I can I can go deep with it. you know. It's it's a lot of causes that could affect that. Wow. Sure. And in your coaching, you are like, basically, are, are you doing meal plans for people? Are you like, you're helping them with their exercises? Because it's, it's a, it's a many different faces and heads to this big dragon we're trying to beat, right? Like, it is, it is, you know, I pretty much give them the, the pretty much all the, the main steps and to give them the ingredients of what can help them and tell them, hey, figure out what your sensitive foods are. You know, you could eat some food that could cause the puffiness in your nipples to increase. Hmm. You know, so, you know, I leave them in that aspect. I do do training. I'm a certified NASM personal trainer. So I also take them through steps of training them to transform the entire body. Um, so, you know, it's just a full approach in terms of giving them the knowledge on how to attack it, how to lower the noticeability of the gynecomastia. You, you got can't it. completely get rid of it unless you get the surgery, which is a fact. Yeah. Got it. So you, you, so from your experience and coaching and your personal experience and, and your research, you know the specific exercises a person should do, you know, day to day, what they should eat, just 
to, to naturally get rid of all this? Definitely. For the most part, yet to lower it. I mean, it pretty much aligns with a very healthy diet uh, right. and also attacking different movements with the, you know, with the chest in terms of your lifts, uh, specifically targeting these areas of your chest and sculpting your body. You know, it's, it's, it's very dope on how you can do it. And it's not really hard once you get the hang of it. You know? Okay. You, you really understand the concept. And my guys, you know, for the most part, they're, they're getting it. Got it. And one, one thing I, I saw on your site, and I also know a few people in the, in the academy taking it, is called DIM, D-I-M. Yeah. Do you, what do you recommend for that? Do you, do you recommend people take it? Like, I, Look, DIM is one of the, the best herbs to me because of the type of things that it can help with. I mean, it helps. It can definitely help in terms of uh, helping with your, your, your estrogen you know, hormones and, and also, you know, rid the body of toxins in a lot of ways, you know, protecting your body from a lot of xenoestrogens and things from the environment and pollution. So, you know, DIM, not only will it really help in terms of lowering your E2 levels and estradiol, but it'll definitely help with your health, you know, overall and protecting your, your, your body you know, from a lot of xenoestrogens and a lot of uh, pollutants that we are exposed to in the world. So DIM mm. is awesome. You know, Got it, they, man. That yeah. sounds good. And, and so dim is probably the number one herb one can take, like a natural thing for, you know, lowering gyno. Well, yeah, for the most part, dim is definitely going to be a great catalyst. You know, I wouldn't say it's the main herb in terms of attacking gyno specifically, but it's definitely a good uh, portion of what uh -huh. it's going to take to lower the noticeability. You know, turmeric is a very awesome herb in terms of helping with that. Really? It's actually, you know, there's, there's people in India, there's people all over, you know, <laughs> discovering the power of turmeric and how it helps with gynecomastia, you know, and it's, it's powerful. Wow. I highly, I highly suggest turmeric as well. <laughs> okay, okay. Would you say that in terms of food? Because I, I would love to know, like, maybe you can give a couple of foods that will, you know, lower gyno in people and a couple of foods that they should definitely avoid. Got you, got you. <laughs> so there definitely are some. Some foods that I highly suggest uh, would be cruciferous vegetables, you know, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, depending on if you're cutting or not. If you're cutting, Brussels sprouts are high in carbs, but anyway, you know, <laughs> that's another thing. But yeah, you know, Brussels sprouts. Um, definitely green, green leaf vegetables, dark vegetables. These things have so many nutrients and, and micronutrients that can definitely help with that. Um, also, we got to think about sodium, you know, electrolytes, mm. uh, what, what causes our body to carry a whole bunch of water rate that induces puffiness, that induces your gynecomastia looking worse than what it actually is. So, you know, I try to get everybody to focus on balancing their electrolytes and eat things that will help with that, you know, things high in potassium, not being afraid of pink Himalayan salt, you know, putting, <laughs> putting it in some water, you know what I'm saying, put it on your food, because that's really going to help balance your electrolytes, man. Um, and for foods that I probably stay away from, cow's milk, dairy, really? dairy. That was one of the hugest uh, things for me. Everybody's different. Mm. But that was one of the things for me. And I noticed when I ate dairy, when I ate a lot of cheese, when I ate a lot of these things, the puffiness would increase to this day, to this day. So I don't eat that anymore. Wow. So what about raw milk, man? Like if it's raw, unpasteurized, have you heard of anything like that? I heard about some people saying that it was probably like a better form and you know, I'm sure it's probably okay. But the beautiful thing about it is, is you'll have to try to find out you that's know, it. because that's a part of, you know, what I teach my guys, you know, you see what your sensitive foods are. You eat these things, pay attention to how you, what your chest looking like, you know, and that'll give you a great idea in terms of what to stay away from or what to eat. Oh, another thing too, sardines. Sardines really? is an awesome food uh, for helping with that. Yes, things that's high in uh, selenium, you know? Yeah. I'm sure you got, I know you know. <laughs> I know you know about those different minerals and, and things that really help with testosterone and fighting against a lot of, uh, you know, aromatization and things that's really trying to stop your body from doing what it was built to do by God. That's produce testosterone. That's, that's uh, cool. have a balanced level of your hormones, you know? Got it. And can you give us a couple of exercises that help with this as well? 
So um, there's a lot of different ways you can attack it. Um, you know, I can give you some rules, but I can't give you the whole book. You know, but <laughs> but no, I'm going to help you because know, that's what I'm here for. So um, <laughs> just a couple. So uh, one thing that I love to focus on is cables. Cables is your best friend, guys. Different uh, degrees of leaning, you know, to really attack certain parts of your chest. Hmm. Because and this opens up another good point. If you want to really lower your gynecomastia and change the noticeability of it, you have to cut and bulk, cut and build muscle. Should I say bulk is kind of build muscle, cut build lean muscle mass, cut build uh, lean muscle mass. Because then you can cultivate your chest. You can make your chest look how you want to look. You know, and if you when you got a trainer like me that can actually teach you different places of your chest muscle different parts of the muscles and how to attack those and hit those and target those, your chest is going to look amazing within six months to a year. Your chest will look crazy, crazy improved for sure. Yeah, dude. Cause I've seen you, I've seen you in your videos when you're like shirtless, man, you're, you're like shredded and, and yeah. like compared to, you know, what you were, you know, it's like, what a transformation, man. You, you've done it. <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks, man. You know, I, and I'm gonna be real, you know, cause I'm a transparent person. You know, as of the last about five months, I have and I have uh, went through different things that kind of threw me off track a bit. You know, we all fall, all soldiers sure. fall, but you know, we get back up. You know, we it's it's the soldiers that can fall down and get back up and slice your head off. Yep. You know, <laughs> that that are real really great. And um, you guys are gonna be able to see me actually transform and attack and lower the noticeability of my guy. No, again, so I'm glad it happened, it happened because you guys can actually see how I do it firsthand. Ah, uh, because now you're climbing back up. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. So, so uh, I, in the in the end, I want to ask, um, like, a guy who's has you know watched this video and got so much value from you, man. It's brilliant, like really, really good value, man. Already, like, so much learning. Now, this person really wants to take this gyno in control and, and lower it as much as possible through natural means by, by you. Um, and, and I'll put a link to your YouTube channel in the description so they'll be able to come to your YouTube. But can you give us a little bit description of your coaching? Like what it, you know, what it is, what it involves? Because these guys would love to get coached by you, man. So Definitely, man. I would love to have y'all, man. Um, you know, my coaching is very customized, uh, so it is going to be based on you, your lifestyle. You know, what you do, what you have access to, what tools can you use? Uh, because that's going to really play a big part in terms of your success and how long it was going to take. Um, so for the most part, I just focus on training my guys, teaching them, you know, how they should eat, doing their macronutrients. Uh, you know, you can, I'm not a dietitian, so you'll have to choose, you know, specifically how you do your meal, meal plans, but I can guide you in terms of your macronutrient balance. I can guide you in terms of, uh, you know, how you eat and, you know, train. You're going to train because you're not just changing your, your dyno. I want your whole body to look better. You know, I mm. want you to look like a beast when you're, when you're done, you know, dealing with me and dealing with the coaches. So that's really my approach. Dyno first, you know, total transformation second. Got it. So, man, so you're, you're, you're looking at it from a holistic point of view. It's taking the gyno problem, but using that weakness to make it a strength and just completely transform the individual. Yes, man. Yes. Bro, that's, bro. That's the goal. And you're that's instilling always... confidence in them. I mean, what else yeah. does a man want? Okay. I, got, I had one video where I said, flaunch a gyno. You know what I'm saying? Flaunch a gyno. Like, wow. be confident because you're trying to kill it. If you want to kill it, if you're willing to take the steps to kill it, you you that dude. You you're in the zone. You ready to do what you got to do, and you're confident. Believe in yourself. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, dude. Thanks a lot, man. Kevin, this has been great. Um, and and guys, you know, go get his coaching. And if you want someone who's done the work, been through it, has coached so many guys already, you know, has the transformation, the client's transformation. Go get coaching from this guy. Go to his YouTube channel. Link in the description. You know, watch his videos. And yeah, man, you'll be you'll be getting a bunch of people from uh, our channel. So, uh, thanks a lot, man. Thanks Come a on, lot. Man. For get, the, get this work. Come and get this work. <laughs> share, share the love, man. Share the love. And dude, honestly, like from the bottom of my heart, I know, I know how it is 
to not have confidence, right? And depending on the situation, I mean, I'm in an environment kind of, you know, hostile environment here in Ukraine sometimes. And it's like, you know, I know that deep down gut feeling when you're like, ah, oh, fuck, I know, I know I'm better than this. I know this is not who I am. What's like, I, I'm more than this, man. And, and you're bringing that beast out in a practical way. So, dude, thanks, man. Love you, bro. Love you. <laughs> great, great to connect, man. Great to connect. Definitely. It's a pleasure, bro. And more to come. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks again, Kevin. And uh, I'll see you in a part two we'll do in the future. For sure. <laughs> you already know. Bye, man. <laughs>